six veterans from the Holyoke Soldiers Home have now died from COVID-19 since the pandemic began back in March. And five investigates discovered some missed opportunities well before the crisis that could have helped save lives. Kathy Curran reports. The mission of the Holyoke Soldiers Home is to provide care with honor and dignity for our veterans. Many families say the state failed miserably in that mission and ignored problems at the home for years. It was tragedy for those people. You were putting them in in a bad situation like going to war all over again. It was a war of a different kind as dozens of veterans fell ill and lost their lives while COVID-19 ravaged the Holyoke Soldiers Home. Carol Conrad worked there as a nurse for three decades. She says a history of staffing problems and the challenging layout of the building combined for a perfect storm during the pandemic. You knew if anything ever came up where this kind of pandemic like this, that was gonna just spread like wildfire. They need to be isolated and the isolation was not there for them. When the deadly virus first crept in, the limited staff was floating between different units and some units were merged, adding more veterans to crowded rooms. Records obtained by five investigates show Holyoke's former superintendent, Paul Barabani, sounded the alarm for years, alerting the state about staffing shortages and problems found during inspections that could jeopardize resident health and safety. Reports flagged fire safety and infection control concerns due to cramped rooms prompting Barabani to come up with a new design for Holyoke, eliminating the triple and four person rooms and communal bathrooms that made isolating COVID-19 positive veterans almost impossible. We always figured when they came in and did inspections, things would change. I think if they had those isolated rooms, my father would still be with us today. I still have dreams, you know, where I, I see him and I talk to him and that, you know, that's, that's hard. Michelle LaPlante is heartbroken and frustrated looking back at what she calls a missed opportunity. Her 78 year old father, Chet, an army veteran, died last month at the home from COVID-19. They were roaming around in the common rooms and sharing rooms and it was a recipe for disaster. Holyoke's improvement plan was never given the green light despite the VA's commitment to cover most of the cost. Families say the remaining $40 million bill to state taxpayers would have been a small price to pay that may have helped prevent an immense loss. So much is said, thank you for your service and thank you for serving our country. But when they need it the most, the soldiers don't have our help. The Holyoke project was estimated to cost about $116 million. The state ended up backing an almost $200 million project at the Chelsea Soldiers Home that was also needed but has fewer beds. The VA was going to pick up more than half of the cost of each. Kathy Curran, 5 Investigates. Kathy